Hey all, this is Mike uh, at iwearshorts.com. Uh, today we'll be doing a tutorial about how to hook up a new window in Coco. It's a little bit different if you're used to iOS. Uh, it's a little bit of a different process. So just a real quick example. I've got an application here. Don't worry about these files right here. Um, basically, I just want to show you how to open up a new window. So I'm using Xcode 5.1 and uh, we just need to get something up and running. So uh, right here you can see I've got my main window. If I click on this, uh, it's, there's nothing. There's just some labels and whatever. So I need another window to open up when I click on this activities menu button and then I click on this first one, serial port selector. So I need a window to open up when I select that. And right now you can see there's nothing happening. If I click on this, you can see there's no uh, actions hooked up or anything. So first thing I'm going to do, go into our uh, folder and click New File. Uh, I'm going to go up and click in Objective-C class. I'm going to hit Next. Uh, you can see I've already got NS Window Controller selected as my subclass. And I'm just going to say Serial Select Window Controller. Um, and we're also going to create the nib file uh, for it. So it's going to th create three files for us, a header, an implementation file, and also a nib file. Click Next. Uh, it's going to go ahead and ask me where I want to put it. I'll say Sure. Um, and it's going to go ahead and create three files for me. So I'm just going to drag these up um, just so I can keep better track of it. So the first thing I want to do here is just double check my nib file and make sure that the files owner is the correct class. So if I click on that and I click on this tab over here, the identity inspector, you can see that my class serial selector window controller is named uh, correctly. So the next thing we want to do, let's just drag on a label so we can see which one we're talking about. I'll name this serial select. Uh, so if we get this window, we have the right window. Um, the next thing I want to do is select my interface options. Um, and so I've got my header and my interface, and I'll just make a little NS log message down here that'll let me know that my uh, window was instantiated or my window did load. So I'll just write window did load. Here. So uh, that should appear in my log file when we start rolling. So the next thing I need to do is hook all of this stuff up. So you might ask, how do I get this uh, menu item hooked up to this nib file? It's completely separated here. Um, so first of all, we need to do some coding. So I'm going to select my app delegate. I'm going to go in here and uh, actually I'm going to select my main menu nib. I'm going to do this the easy way. And uh, I've got my my assistant editor here so I'm able to select my app delegate header file and what I'm going to do is actually implement an IB action here but before I do that uh, I'm just going to make sure that I have access to my class so I'm going to import my serial select window controller header file and then down here I'm just going to create a property called serial select uh, window controller. Okay, so that should allow me to uh, initiate this later on. So the next thing I'm going to do here is actually create this action. So I, you can see I clicked into my menu and uh, I've got my highlighted menu item that I want to uh, to open this window and I'm just going to control click and drag onto uh, the app delegate and I'm going to create an action here and it's going to call serial select I don't know clicked let's name it clicked so I'm going to create an IB action then I'm going to go into my app delegate and you can see it created the uh, the interface and also the implementation so in here we're going to do something called lazy loading and I'm just going to say if I don't have my serial select window controller, I'm going to load it. So serial select window controller equals serial select window controller allocate, and then we're going to init with a nib name. 
and uh, our nib name is going to be the same name as the file name for this. So it's asking me for a string here, um, and it's just serial select window controller. And then the last thing we want to do is just show it. And we don't care. We'll pass in self for now. So we're so basically we've hooked up our action uh, to our serial select window controller, um, and then we've we've got everything in place. Um, we've got a little message here, and we've got a uh, a little message on the window. So if we go ahead and run that, we should see. Um, you can see nothing in my log file down here, and it's not the right window. Um, that's okay, but if we go up to activities and we select serial port, uh, you see that we open that window. It's the correct window, and we do have a log message that the uh, window did load. So that's it for today. Um, basically, just all I wanted to show you. So uh, yeah, have fun with that.